I'm back with your Bobby Brown tutorial. Dee, 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 dee. So I am gonna start off with my glass skin face prep because I don't really love wearing too much makeup. And this is what a morning face really looks like. <laughs> so first I'm gonna mix the extra treatment lotion and the extra face oil. All you really need is a couple of drops of each. You mix it together till it gets all emulsified and then you make the most beautiful skin prep. Don't forget your neck, you guys. No one needs to age just on their neck and have a young face forever. I'm feeling oiled up and ready for my eye repair cream. I like putting it on the inner corner I like making sure I get my outside smile lines. <laughs> Always move your skin up against gravity. Next, I'm gonna use my Extra Repair Moisture Cream. So I'll really get the parts that are dry the most, which ends up being around my nose. I like always moisturizing where all my wrinkles are, like my smile lines, and don't forget the neck and chest. What was once a dry and arid wasteland is now a slip and slide. And don't forget to use my favorite, the extra lip tint. It's moisturizing and it brings out a natural glow to your lip color. I use this all day, every day. I already look better. Next up, I'm using a very special extra illuminating moisture balm bear glow. I always like pumping onto here. I don't know why, I see other people, I see professional people do that, so I just do it too. And you can put this on all of your high points. Do you guys see these wrinkles right here? You know what they could use? Some pearly glow to hide them and reflect the light. So you know what? Now that my skin is prepped, I am gonna go in for the makeup and we're gonna use a really light hand and I'm gonna start with the Intensive Skin Serum Foundation. And you know what? It has SPF 40, ladies. Nothing beats that. So now I'm gonna pump it on my hand again. Et voila, got a little bit of coverage for a lot of freckles. So in case you guys don't have any of the Bobbi Brown brushes, you better fix that because these are the softest things to put on your face. Right now I'm holding the full coverage face brush, good for blending and good for tickling. Okay y'all, we got a really important lesson to teach right now. Always correct before you conceal. Because if you do it the other way, you're gonna look like you have weird spots on your face and no one wants that. So first I'm using, for my skin, the light bisque corrector. I'll put some under my eye to cut down the blue. I have a little pimple right there. It's kind of scabby. Those are really hard to cover. Now that I corrected, I'm gonna use the Instant Full Cover Concealer on top. And my color is beige, cause that's how bland I really am. You guys, this is my base. I still look a little tired cause I haven't done anything to my eyes, but how good does my skin look? Let's be real. Now, it's really nice to have a glow all over, but what's not so nice is when your T-zone lights up in a photo and gives you a unibrow light. I'm gonna use the Eye Blender brush to apply the Sheer Finish Press Powder in all the places I don't wanna see much shine. Now for my favorite brush, the Angled Face Brush. I use this for a light contour and for highlighting. But today, I just really feel like highlighting. So I'm gonna use the Highlighting Powder in Pink Glow. Look how pretty that is. You might have noticed a bit of a change around my eyes. I just applied the Extreme Party Mascara off screen. That's my favorite one. I learned that from Chris Hemsworth, who also applies all of his mascara off screen. Next, another one of my favorites, Pot Rouge. The reason why I really love this thing is because I don't just use it on my cheeks, I sometimes use it on my eyelids because it's very pretty and it's not drying, it's moist. I put a very small amount and I blend it on the apples of my cheeks. It's also super lightweight, like Paul Rudd. Next, I'm going to apply a beautiful little eyeshadow that still keeps that natural glow, the Luxe 
eyeshadow rich sparkle moonstone i'm gonna apply my left eye with the brush and my right eye with my finger you guys tell me which one you like more i think i like the finger more to top it all off, I'm gonna use Bobbi Brown's new Lux Shine Intense Lipstick. But don't be fooled by the intense that I got. I'm still natural Lizzie from the block. This is brand new. I'm the first person to ever use this. Okay, you guys, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something new about Paul Rudd.